Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome to my Avengers Endgame Theory video. In this video, we're going to talk about possible ways we can see the X-Men introduced in the MCU, how characters can come back, and how mantles can be filled, and a lot more. It's a pretty long video, so sit back, relax, put your theories in the comment section, share with your friends, and enjoy my Avengers Endgame Theory video. So in Avengers Endgame, Tony Stark dies due to using the Infinity Stones. We also see that Tony has a daughter named Morgan Stark, and I highly doubt Kevin Feige or anyone at Marvel will let MCU continue without an Iron Man. So this this makes me think one of three possibilities could happen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. One, Riri Williams will be introduced into the MCU, which is a comic book character in the MCU that took over the mantle of Iron Man, whose name is Iron Heart. Now, in my opinion, I don't really think Marvel will take this route for Iron Man in the MCU. Marvel likes to pull certain aspects from the comics and adapt it to current characters in the MCU. We saw this with Hulk becoming the Professor Hulk in Avengers Endgame, and we also saw this with the Angel One being very similar to the comic book version, but different at the same time. They made these characters characters their own MCU versions. And this brings me to my second thought on how Iron Man can still stay alive in the MCU. We could see a new Iron Man trilogy, but instead of Riri Williams, we could see Morgan Stark in the suit. They could still call her Iron Heart and still pull aspects from Riri Williams comics for the MCU. Or the third option, which I think would be really, really cool, is still keep the idea of Iron Heart and Morgan being the next Iron Man, grown up obviously, and take Tony Stark and have him be the AI for Morgan's suit. Now this theory also stems from a scene in the recent Spider-Man Far From Home trailer when we see Peter Parker take off the glasses and be very surprised. It wouldn't be a surprise to me if it was an AI that was Tony Stark. At the end of Avengers Endgame, we know that Tony was fully expecting to die. He knew he was going to die and he knew that was the only way that was going to end it. So it wouldn't be surprised if he built an AI before they went back in time to get the Infinity Stones. And this honestly wouldn't be too far-fetched seeing as we've seen time travel in MCU, we've seen alternate realities, we've seen magic. Magic. We've seen a lot of crazy stuff in the MCU so far, so this is really the bottom of the barrel of believability in the MCU. So the next idea I want to bring up has to do with Spider-Man and the multiverse. Now recently Tom Holland has stated that he's all for doing 20 Spider-Man movies if that's what Marvel wants. Now I know we won't get 20 Spider-Man movies, but that made me thinking about an old Peter Parker. Now I'm not talking about like old man Logan old, I'm talking about maybe an older mentor for a certain Spider character. If you haven't watched the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, I'll quickly update you on a big plot device that was dropped in the trailer. It seems that Mysterio is from another universe, which according to Nick Fury is available now due to Thanos ripping a hole with the first snap that happened in Infinity War. Now Mysterio is an illusionist, so he could be lying or he could not be lying, which brings me to Miles Morales. I think bringing in the Spider-Verse for maybe a third Spider-Man movie or even Miles Morales' Spider-Man trilogy set in an alternate universe could work. Have the third Spider-Man or third Miles Morales movie be a Spider-Verse inspired story, not a one-to-one -one remake but bits and pieces taken to an MCU style of Spider-Verse. That would be pretty cool to see a live action Spider-Gwen. Heck, I mean even we can have Spider-Pig because that is definitely possible. We have a talking raccoon in the MCU so a Spider-Pig isn't that far-fetched. Now, speaking of multiverse, let's talk the X-Men and Fantastic Four. Now, we know that the MCU is going to be needing a new overall arching story with a new bad guy. And what better bad guy to choose than Galactus? With Marvel gaining the movie rights back from Fox, it's the perfect chance to introduce Galactus, Fantastic Four, and of course, the X-Men. Now, I don't think they'll outright introduce Galactus. I think having an X-Men and a Fantastic Four reboot first would be the best route. Now, there are a couple ways you can do this for the X-Men and Fantastic Four. One in Avengers Endgame, we saw a young Hank Pym run to some delivery people who weren't feeling good after coming in contact with a glowing box. Now, this box could have activated, say, their metagenes, thus bringing mutants into play in the MCU, and maybe they've been in hiding until now. Now, if that doesn't work, I can also see them creating a separate universe, maybe one with Miles Morales in it, that would carry the X-Men and Fantastic Four in it. The hole that was in the MCU maybe would get the attention of Galactus and also the Fantastic Four and X-Men, and maybe we have some dimension hop that could lead to a huge team-up, and if that's not possible, maybe the Fox properties will be their own separate universe, still being able to bring them into the MCU. Of course, the same could also go for the Sonyverse. We know they're creating their own universe too with Marvel characters. Now, this could be good because we could still keep the good that the Foxverse has brought out, and of course, the Sonyverse. This could also lead to crossovers with the black suit for Spider-Man in the MCU. Now, as for the mantle of Hulk, Hulk didn't die in Endgame, but he did injure his arm, bringing 
everyone back from Thanos' snap from the first movie. The Russo brothers have stated that that's permanent, that's not going to heal, so it makes me think that they're going to bring in either a new Hulk or a She-Hulk. Now, if I recall, how She-Hulk came about was a blood transfusion from Bruce Banner to his cousin. So, I don't see that happening in the MCU, but I could see something very similar happening. Maybe they'll have a new Hulk movie and something happens that makes him have to transfuse his blood to someone very close to him. Maybe in this new Hulk movie, we see him pushed to limits. Maybe we see a World Breaker Hulk. I think this would be a natural progression for a Hulk storyline, and I think it would be fantastic to see one last really good Hulk movie. Heck, maybe even Spider-Man can show up. Those are some of the theories that I've picked up on my recent viewing of Avengers Endgame. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section and your theories that you've thought of in the comment section do, and maybe I'll make a part two of this video using yours and new ones that I've thought up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like, and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.